Hello everyone, uh, welcome to likely my final tour video on Animal Crossing New Horizons. Uh, first of all I apologise for the mic, I'm using a secondary mic at the moment while I'm waiting for my one to get replaced, so if it's not as good as my other one I do apologise, but let's just get to it shall we. So first and foremost this is obviously a tour video, I want to just specify that I'm going to go through my areas, talk about why I chose things the way I did, why some places are why they are, but also while it not, might not be a town that you like or such, it's a town that I'm particularly proud of. I don't have any creativity or anything like that, so I just hope you enjoy what I made and what I came up with in the end. So before anything, I'm going to just go straight into the map itself, so that anyone who wants a layout of my map can see it. And also just to show you, I have every villager that I want. So I have Judy, I have Zucker, Anka, Deli, Marshall, Cube, Nan, Audi, Agent S, and Raymond. Though I might change out Agent S uh, for Cherry eventually, I'm still pretty happy with what I've got at the moment because it's a good mix of popular, non popular, and my personal favourites, so I'm pretty happy with what I've been able to find. With that in mind, let's start the tour. So, obviously, the plaza is just very simple, there's a few flowers all over the place, and hold on, I'm just gonna pop this. There you go. So yeah, the plaza is pretty simple. It's just a few flowers, nothing special. We're a bit blue on the left. I'll start with the airport area first. So when designing this, I obviously had the football idea, but obviously my town doesn't sell soccer balls, so I'm stuck with a volleyball instead, much to my discomfort. Uh, this area here, while it might look a bit unfinished and not done, it's mainly like this because I use this for streaming, which is known as the swap shop for those who've seen my streams before. The idea being that it usually is like full of different items that people can come and grab and replace with their own. But I'm currently leaving it empty, mainly because I'm waiting for new updates to come out in order to add new items to it. So hopefully eventually this place will be full again, I'll be able to stream and let people come in as before. Heading across the beach, there's not really much else to talk about here. This section I left empty mainly to use as a grow ground. So for instance, I'm currently growing weeds on this section of the island. I want it to spread out. Uh, because it's out of the way, the weeds will be able to grow a lot more and then I can use said weeds for crafting, which is always nice for getting certain things. Heading back across the football field now, or soccer, whatever you call it, we'll head up into the small little town area, which is where the main residential district starts. I obviously have the Able Sisters and Nook's Cranny on either side as you walk up next to a fountain. And then over here on the left is just, it was just like the first house that I modelled. It has a crafting bench in case I need to get anything from nearby. It's just a simple little town with flowers. And originally I wanted just like all my houses to be that, but it just seemed to work well by itself. Over here is the obvious that a lot of people like from my town from previous videos, it's the Zen Garden. I pretty much completed now with little terraniums and beauty spots. Uh, I did want to find a few more rocks, but the ones that I found were either too big or didn't look right, so I left it be. Uh, then back here is what I call the campsite dumping ground, mainly because all the stuff here was only added to the island to help its raining get up. But I tried to position it in a way that it looks nice at least, so that the person at the campsite looks like they have enough to do. Moving on from there, we're now going to head over to the other side of the Stardust Residential District, so not this part, but the part near uh, the river, so I'll just pick it up here. So over here, you can see where I kind of expanded the idea from the previous house outwards to give them more space, little pathways, flowers. I tried to decorate each house with different things based on the character's personality. And try to give it like a little shop front as well, so it like a little market district outside while trying to keep the Western <coughs> and Japanese uh, combination. So for instance, like Western Star Houses, we obviously a Japanese vending machine, and anyone who's been to Japan will know about that stuff. It's pretty much everywhere. Uh, the combination of Western and Japanese was a nice feature for me, and will be more prevalent as we continue. So over here, it's not really much to talk about. It's just an orchid of all the different fruits that aren't native to my island. I made this in hopes of trying to create perfect fruits until I realized like, that perfect fruit wasn't in the game. And I also use it to create more weeds so that it isn't just a single section because it's about the way. It's just nice to come if I need a bit of money or if anyone needs any particular pieces of fruit because I have them all. And it just makes them more centralized and neater so that it's just all in one place. 
Carrying on residential district, as you can see, there's more Japanese aesthetic. I'll start up here first where the silo is. The houses here are a bit more simpler, mainly just flowers and little bits, because I wanted to try and get this mountainous vibe. Uh, then I had obviously the river crafted up here so that if I need to catch anything or any particular fish that require you to be on a mountain top I can do. While also trying to make it look a bit decent and a bit more open. But I wanted to just like I said keep it simple with this area with flowers, nothing too drastic. And then the house here being the more different one with a pool but that's just because it's Judy and let's be face it Judy needs a pool. Moving across, we have a bit more of open houses. This is Raymond's house, so I just made it a bit more open. And I try to keep the cats on this side because of the bamboo. Uh, mainly because of watching Lady in the Tram. Hats up to you if you get this. And also around the back here, there's more uh, areas where I'm growing weeds. As well as leading a path to the back, in case I need to go and see Red if he's ever in town, to see what art he has. It was just nice to keep the bamboo in one area, and I just like the idea that I can just come here, chop up the bamboo when I need it, and I have to run around. Uh, we have another little open house area, and then here is where I've been mainly using to uh, get hybrid flowers. So as you can see, I have another gold flower just spawn there. And the idea being that I want to try and get some gold flowers from my town, but that's more of a long-term project and not really anything to do with the finishing of the town itself. Uh, the house is pretty much standard. I just like what I did with it, just with little bits and pieces. And then Anchor's house over here is also pretty simple with table and chairs and uh, not much on the back as you can see but I did hide uh, a little urn here to go Anchor's design. Uh, again more flower breeding over here as you can see as well as more uh, weed building. I try and have a, more spray areas of weeds so that I don't have to just rely on one spot. And also weeds just look nice as little grassy areas so it just makes sense coming into here which is the Japanese aesthetic garden slash park area which is completely open here with a little path going down it next to a couple of trees, the port, and everything that you need really. I, again, just going with that very Japanese-esque, western-esque design. So the idea being this is an entrance, but there's also an entrance over there next to the more park area, where it feels like a lovely little forest of my native fruit with an area to relax and chill and just let the day go away. Uh, finishing off, we'll head to here, which may look a bit underdeveloped to some people, but I like it. It was... Originally had a few uh, things that you get from Gulliver, like the Leaning Tower of Pisa and such, but I just preferred it as like a very outdoor exhibit where I changed the fish and the bugs here gradually in order to give people an idea of what's inside. Uh, I try and change it seasonally, but I haven't been able to do it this one, so I have different uh, bugs and fish that are available just during the season out to show people and then when they go into the museum which is completed by the way you can see videos of my channel of 100% completed museum and art gallery whenever you fancy if you want to see that but yeah it was just like a general outdoor aesthetically pleasing stuff and the reason this science here obviously is because I always bring it up when I'm trying to catch new bugs to replace the old ones or new fish uh, but other than that there's not really much else the Pretty simple town design, it's one that I really do enjoy. I know a lot of people probably won't enjoy it as much as I do, but it, it is just something that I liked, and I like doing it, and I like the simplicity of it, and because I've got no imagination skills uh, or creative aspects, I'm just happy with what I came up with, and I hope you liked it. Anyway guys, that's going to be me. Thank you very much for seeing the tour video and also let me know what your uh, islands look like in the comments below. I'll be interested in seeing what you came up with. Bye.